Oh man, okay, I'll take those shots. Okay, Spitfire's here. This is where we're gonna use our massive freaking engine advantage here to hopefully beat the nose of the Spitfire. We're gonna use the vertical. Watch him. Watch where he's pointing his nose. He's going to try to roll into us. We're just going to stay under his nose. He's stalling out here. And we're just going to take it back up. And roll back into him here. Come on, baby. Oh, that's it. That's cash money. Does it feel like you're getting kicked around by the prices of everything these days? Are you without eagles or just a few shy away from getting that one day a premium? Well, never fear. Golden Eagles for War Thunder is here. Earn Golden Eagles by filling out surveys, playing games, and downloading apps. And it gets even better. If you use my code XJYZK when signing up, you will get an additional 10 Golden Eagles. The app link in my code will be down in the description below. And thank you for your guys' support. This goes a long way to supporting the channel. Now for the video. And welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I have something pretty special for you guys, as I will be starting a gameplay series. And all you have to do is comment down below, and whoever gets the most upvotes will be the plane that I take out. So go ahead and go in the comment section and choose which plane you want to see me take out next. Today we'll be featuring the F8F1 Bearcat, placed at 5.0. And what makes this plane so special is that it has substantially more engine performance and flight performance than really any prop at this tier. Its only Achilles heel is 450 cals. Of course, they can be aimed well and they can be used and planes can be shot down however you won't be just typically swatting planes out the sky unless you set a fire i'm not going to go over all the details of the plane i want you guys to see it in action and i'm going to try to not do too many cuts because i want you guys to see what it looks like to use these planes properly so without further ado let's get into the first gameplay looks like we got a solid 5-0 game here got a bearcat brethren uh, P47, that's 4.7, so a little bit of a down tier. P51, D30s, galore. So, definitely pretty smack at our battle rating here. We're just going to try to climb. I think this map's a little smaller. But at least it's cool. We can climb pretty aggressively here. hammered it a little hard on the throttle here. I'm going to dial it back. I'm going to keep climbing and then we're going to wait and see, you know, who shows up and how the fight kind of develops here and then we'll start picking them off. So something to keep in mind when uh when these planes come close to you is that they're going to spot you. So I'm actually visible to the enemy team, and I'm probably the only person actually visible to them. So, And chances are he, he probably definitely spotted me within that range. So the enemy team, therefore, is going to maneuver and react to me a little differently. And so the battle is always, you know, the little nuances like that can influence, you know, how the game goes for you and you know, where you're at. I mean, also, very likely, the enemy team couldn't bother, and they might not come over here, but it's just something to be aware of. And there we go. We have somebody. This is probably going to be our dude right here. Chances are it's a uh, BF-109. But when you see somebody climbing at you like this, and you know that they've been climbing the whole time, it's good to pick up a little bit of speed, too. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Focke Wolf 190. Okay. Not, I'm not a good option for him. Um, his best bet is to nail me in a head-on. Uh, this is why you don't always just take head-ons first, because... You know, you could have an overwhelming advantage over somebody, and that might not be your place. Uh, and he turned, he did, he made the smart decision to turn away from me. It's just, he's just not, he's still much slower than me. I gotta watch using my WEP up here, though. I keep forgetting that gets my plane really hot. All right, he's gonna try to come in for a, like a Tempest is on him. Pull some flaps for lead. Oh, I couldn't pull it. And then we're going to W key here hard, get my nose back around, make sure we get this kill. And 
And here's where you're going to see the Bearcat suffers. I'm a little tunnel vision, but... I think I hit him there because he started black smoking, but it did not give me a hit. And I'm going to let that Tempest... Oh, man, and this is the guy from last game. Here we go. Okay. Look, and he wants a piece, too. We're going to make him. So he's going to be going pretty fast here. See if he dives in and makes a move right away. Let him know who we are. There you go. He's going way too fast for his own good here. And this is where we can really... We're going we're gonna to bleed him down. So he, he's going to try a, He's gonna try to boom and zoom us. But we're not going to give him that luxury. Okay, so we're going to turn back into him here. We're not going to give him many good options here. So I noticed going to the vertical there would have been not a good idea. And he just bled a lot of speed to make that maneuver to come around and get me. Problem is we're going to hurt our plane a lot trying to deal with him. This is where being passive is really, you know, I want to get him into my trap. And that's what I'm looking for here. P-38 is a very good plane, though, and it gets air spawn, so it's just, it's a it's a very dangerous plane. Oh, man, okay. So, he's, he's just going to continue to climb. He's got a little bit better engine cooling than I do, um, and we did kind of lose a little bit too much altitude maneuvering away from him there. But he knows that I'm not going to just give it to him. So, okay. P-47's coming in. It's going to be a little bit of a tricky situation here. Oh, man. And he's setting up for some, some shots here, so... Maybe I want to get them kind of both in a similar situation. Okay, here he comes. I'm gonna make sure he has to ex make sure he's going fast when he gets to me. He's gonna be squirting some shots there. P47 is gonna be looking to capitalize on it. Let's see if I can pull into this. Oh, no, I don't want to give him that. P-38's out of here, so he just bought me time to do this. Okay. Here we go. Okay, P-38's coming around. I'm watching him on the map, but I see. I feel like I have a teammate somewhere. Okay. P-38. I can ignore the P-38 while I'm kind of dealing with him. Okay, here he's going to take some shots here. He's going real fast again. Getting real antsy. Whoo! It's like playing a game of chess. I really, I really need some teammates, though. I really, really need some teammates. I hear a teammate. Here we go. I bought myself some time. Okay, he's going over the top. He's going really very slow right now. He's putting himself in a really bad situation. Okay. So, P-47... Coming in. I should have went for shots. I just didn't want to be out in front of him, you know, and give myself something real cheap here. P-47 is going in for an attack here. Got to watch him. Okay. That's all right, boys. Let's dance. We're going to dance here. Okay. So, notice that I neutralized this fight a good bit. And we've got pretty similar speeds. Other problem is P-47 is there. So, we're going to have to do them both at the same time. Here we go. Got a good bit of speed. P-47 will not be able to pull into me. P-38 was late. He's sleeping. 
Okay, let's see what my options are here. P47 is going high. P38 is. Got him severe. Okay, watching the um. Looking for the P47. P47 is high. P38 is in a bad sitch. I'm gonna use the vertical here because P38 is not gonna be able to pull that out. I I killed his engine. Going up. P47 is looking for some energy here. His rate speed is incredibly slow. I might get a chance to finish the P38 here. I'm full flaps. Look at him, he's struggling. I'm gonna bust at him and then... Okay, P47 is coming back around here. Ooh, I waited all game for this. The F8F really likes the 1v1, so this is not where you want to be. Okay. He should run now. But he's going to go back into the vertical, and this is bad. There's a severe. <sighs> Bro said something in chat. Yeah, that's his engine done. I am throttling back a little bit, see if I can save the plane. There it is. So as you can see, the Bearcat is a very capable platform. It's just really the guns holding it back. But what about four Bearcats and 16 guns? Oh, Ooh. Oh. Spicy. oh my God. If I get killed right away on this, I'll be so disappointed. This is sick. Yeah, it's a good map. I got this one the other night too, me and Austin. This is a small map. All right, we're climbing off to the right. Let's see, let's get eyes on where they're. Look at their airfield. It's right over there. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, we just need to get above these clouds. All right. It's nice though. You don't see these types of mats no, very often. Don't. It's usually we always don't. daytime. But like the fact that oh, this we is got dusk. we got high boys right in front of us to the that's west. A, that's okay. That's okay. They're gonna have to deal with taking off and dealing with their little air base. Let's see what everybody else does here. One ninety is gonna be a little bit of an issue, but we should be able to outclimb them here. I mean, we're we're cooking right now. I don't know if you guys are with me. Yeah. This is sick. I don't know if it's intentional, Austin, but you still got your smoke on. He cuts it off in his. Yeah, <laughs> is what you call it. You see nothing. Alright. I'm gonna start building up a little bit of speed here. I'm gonna go to a 10 degree climb. Ta 152. Ooh. That's a dangerous that's scary. one. Yeah. If it's the H variant, that thing will be able to compete with us. If he knows how to use his flaps. That might be the Charlie version. Yeah, it looks like the long winged one. It looks like the H. Alright, he's inbound on us. He's turning. Everybody yeah. got everybody got a little bit of speed? Yep. No. Alright, let's nose into him now. Everybody nose into him now. It. Nose into him now. Pull up. It's okay. We're gonna overheat. We're gonna get up towards him. <laughs> We're gonna make him shit a little bit. Hit your hey. pen. Oh man, this is so wrong. <laughs> that oh, I hit him! Up, I hit him! Wow, bro. You know he's probably going. Are you guys gonna stall out now? <laughs> uh oh. Ah! Uh oh! <sighs> You guys put yourself in a really bad stage, huh? I'm coming, come on. Like wasps. <laughs> That's oh, really wow. bad. 190 coming in? Wow, that guy's oh, 190 coming it. in. 190 coming in to the east, to the east. 
I, um, he's probably gonna go for me here. No, he's not. I'm coming up. I'm pulling up into him. I Don't get hit by those guns, Austin. Oh, he's hit. I hit him again. Oh my god, he can turn. Mm -hmm. No, he can't turn for shit. He, he ain't a good plane. Uh, there's an LA-9 here. Where? On Behind me. us. And oh, an L uh, 109. Okay, okay, okay. Time to have fun. Yeah, I got the 109. Alright. Here we go. On the LA-9. Yep. Got him severe. He's cooked. Hit. Oh my god, his fire went out immediately. I mean, he's still severe, but... 109's hurt, watch out. Yep. We got an A6 M5 we got a, coming yeah, in. We got a zero coming in. Alright, I'm gonna extend for speed. A6 is inbound. Come on. Somehow I didn't hit anything. Got the LA9. 109 coming in as well. From A6 is, is, is on me, but he knows he I'm gonna... broke off? Yep, okay. 109 coming in, Yak3 coming in. Oh, shit. Oh, good shit. Come on. Got him. Oh! <laughs> Sacrificer. Hey, that counts in my book. That's good. Very nice. Eye for an eye. Oh god, we gotta get some speed, Diego. We gotta. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm trying to cool down, Spitfire's bro. Spitfire's getting chased down by the 109. The the 109 is gonna be. I'm an issue. hot right okay, now. Okay, bro. IL 10's on me. I'm gonna just pull away from that. I'm turning back into that wanna, IL 10. I don't want nothing to do with it. He's got the Spitfires on him. Nice. B6 to our left, bro. That's a... Leave him alone. Yeah, just leave that guy Oh, alone. watch out, Diego. Yeah, I didn't realize he was heading me on for a second. Imagine getting chased by three. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty rare. That's, that's sad. Where's that B6 at? Okay, he's right up here. He's severe, Diego. He's done. He's got like no wings. I know he does. <laughs> I just wanted to fucking rub salt in his wound. Okay. Oh, B B6 oh from is where? B6. <laughs> oh, thanks for the heads up, guys. I, I I told you he was here. You watched that. You watched that. Yeah, I did. Okay, I, I did. I know you did. I did. Yeah, you know, the B6 is turning back on you. Watch out. Oh my god, dude. That I respect like the B6, PBY. you know? Oh shit. Oh no! Okay, I'm still in there. I'm still in there. Hang in there. Oh shit, I'm good. We're good. Um, I got greedy. I wanted the kill. I'm not gonna lie. Missing a little bit of a wing. Maybe somehow... 264. He took off a wing? And this hit registration is not too kind. No. You missing a wing too? Yeah. Me too, wing. dude. He took off my freaking wing too, dude. What's <laughs> the wing world's right side? Oh my god. You're missing your left? We, we could we could be twin bear cats. Wow. Dude. I was just about to see it. Wow, that's so cute. <laughs> that's hilarious. Alright, well, let's go uh, RTV. BA base is this way, Logan, towards me. Well, there you have it. The Bearcat in a pack is pretty dangerous. And if you stuck around this far, I highly encourage you to let me know what you've thought about the format of the video and if you enjoyed it. And of course, like the video because it helps me out a ton. Well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Fly safe, guys.